So what are you playing? What am I playing? Saints Row? Saints Row 4. Okay. Nice. Which is fancy. Fancy. How much dub yeah, stepping? I do. That dub set gun is OP. <laughs> <laughs> just, I break out into a dance just playing it. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I dropped the controller. Because <laughs> you can't control it with one hand. Oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> it just overpowers your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just a Skrillex gun. <laughs> Quick fireball. <laughs> Hey, welcome to That's Old, where I found a bunch of players with dead controllers to talk about their guilty pleasure games. Games where they knew they were really bad, but somehow they kept on playing. I'm JD, also known as S3 Prototype. On to my left, I have Timeless Traveler. Hello. I have Christina, Misfit Girl 66. Woo, hello. And Marcus, the only Tigger. I'm just gonna say hi, because this was all like all girly and everything. I felt. <laughs> I'm like, how am I gonna follow that you, up? Hello. You realize you went through two girls <laughs> to your intro. <laughs> I was confused. So it made it like super deep. I didn't know girl like gamers existed. I'm bad. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry. Is, I'm still living a little, oh, little way back there. There are okay. rare Pokemons, right. I can tell you, sir. No, shiny Ponita. Pokemon. <laughs> So we're, we're talking about guilty pleasure games here that we knew the games were bad, but somehow we love them in their own little right. Um, Marcus, what was what's three of your games? Let's get a dive into your head about this. Uh, probably first off, I'll go original Xbox for uh, Raz as Hell. Okay. Uh, why, <laughs> why that one? <laughs> um, I, well, what, uh, what, uh, the, the game cover alone has to draw you in. For yeah, so, I mean, well, it was, it was like, what was that? Probably about like 20, so 2021. So like all it is is just like this, uh, this really grotesque looking monster killing all these like little cute and fuzzy things. So like I'm like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna go in here and kill Care Bears. <laughs> I'm, I'm game. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm game. It's like I, I got some anger this issues is, at the moment. <laughs> this plot is a puddle deep. I, yep. I can do this. Yeah. So that was uh my first major guilty pleasure. Uh, I guess after that, uh, let's see, had a lot of time with uh, Two Human. Okay. Uh, I knew that the game you know technically was done very badly, but what kept me in it was the the interesting take that they had on like Norse mythology and okay. uh, how they it applied was, it to like futuristic techno type stuff. So just a background on what is what is Too Human? Um, it's the story of uh, Baldur, uh, one of the Norse gods, uh, basically redeeming himself um, and like following out on this uh, prophecy that was foretold as far as like him um, helping to help prevent like Ragnarok. Okay. So the game itself was pretty technically bad as far as like how it played it's third person. We'll, 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 get to, <laughs> we'll get to why okay. why that game was bad. And so what was your third one? Uh, third one, Def Jam Rap Star. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Christina. <laughs> Thanks, you know. Um, my first being my most guilty, uh, Final Fantasy X-2. Uh, everyone hates it for the battle system of changing girls and little dresses and awesome cosplay bits. Um, but I played it for the story. I'm sure you did. Which apparently it has on, so yeah. Uh, second would be Final Fantasy Chocobo Tales. It was for the DS. Um, it was a tiny little like bunch of mini games all put into one awesome game and it had some Final Fantasy characteristics to it as far as characters were what, what, what drawed you in to be like, I want to play this game a whole bunch? I buy anything Final Fantasy, so I mean, it was kind of like, oh, mini games and Final Fantasy? I'll buy that. <laughs> and a chocobo. Yeah, and a chocobo. I mean, I'm so. It's effect of awesomeness, and I could see you throwing the controller on the game. Yeah. Um, and then my third would be uh, Tony Hawk's Underground for PS2. Um, as terrible as the controls were, and it was trying to like up the game for all the skateboarding games. The only reason I bought it was for the character customization. Like, I'll buy any game where I can like make my own person of whatever sort. I, I totally understand that. I got a buddy of mine that 
all he buys is wrestling games just to create his character. He barely plays the wrestling yeah. games with. Yeah, I, I can see why you would be like that. So I spent more time on that than any other Tony Hawk, so. Okay. Yeah. Timeless Traveler. So this one's a real throwback because I probably haven't played this since I was five, but <laughs> I knew it was bad when I was five. <laughs> It was the Sega Genesis game called Crystal's Pony. <laughs> and thank God it didn't stick, because then I'd imagine I'd be a, a My Little Pony fan, but I am not, so. <laughs> it was just cute and fun. And I mean, and it was the only game I could beat when I was five. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised you threw all the way back to that. So what, what was your, what's your second game? Uh, Sing Star. Okay. I'm not helping my girl gaming stats here because no. these are like no. severely weird and just sad and girly. But um, SingStar was fun because I like doing karaoke and it's kind of fun thing to do with my friends. Okay, as long as you're doing it with friends, if you're sitting there in the oh, bar, no. just no, no, not by myself. I love it. <laughs> Always with my friends. It's okay. so funny to because they have a part of the game where you're battling each other. And it's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> the last one is Dance Central. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to call... Why, why, why Dance Central all so much? It's such a great workout. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it for the workout. I'm, I'm going to trump your card with that for my <laughs> guilty pleasure. I'm going to start off with saying I played the hell out of DDR. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Hell not yeah. for yeah because there's, yeah there's definitely a plot going on there with with that of course <laughs> oh, yeah <laughs> yeah insert coin play c three songs and rinse and repeat um, <laughs> it, it's it's culturally bad to to it's culturally accepted to play that game uh, because it was like oh look you got a dance mat and you can play and you look kind of goofy but when you look when you know how to do it really really well that's when society's like <laughs> look at that ass. <laughs> <laughs> like the uh, videos of like the crazy guy that's like freestyling and he's using both metal pads at the arcade. Yeah. He's going across both. He's doing like flips and all this stuff. He's got the song well, memorized. The hor horrible ones were the really, really big dude that's hitting it on perfects. Right. And then he's he falls got these off. like muscle calves, <laughs> but everything else is just like, yeah, I drink beer. But <laughs> <laughs> he's drinking a beer. There's a beer on the he's game itself. He's drinking it to rehydrate every five minutes. <laughs> so that that's my first guilty pleasure to it. My second one was Evil Zone. Now, Evil Zone was a PlayStation 1 game, and this is when the height, uh, maybe just maybe the infancy stage of anime was getting popular, so okay. uh, PlayStation, a lot of play PS1 games were anime influenced, and there was a move where you push like down an X or something like that, and a five to 10 second montage of like moves happen, and it does like little damage. Mm -hmm. there, there was like mini, mini cutscenes for just a move. <laughs> it was stupid and ridiculous, and the, the, uh, Voice acting was horrible. I, you know, just turned off the sound and just played whatever was on the radio, <laughs> Boys to Men or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, and my third one uh, of my guilty pleasure was Metal Gear Acid. Metal Gear Acid One and Two um, had nothing to do with the story. I was a fanboy, and there was nothing out for PSP to play. Car battle. It was a car battle. <laughs> that was the 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 B side addiction to that game. So uh, I'm gonna. Go to you, back to Tig. Okay. Um, Ra uh, Raise Hell, Two Human, Def Jam, Rap Star. What was awful about Raise Hell? Like, uh, truthfully, like the worst thing about it was just the premise. Uh, you know, just that every... The storyline goes basically like there's this cute world and they're basically trying to turn everything to cute and you have this one guy in this village that they're trying to take over who's just like come comes in on them like ransacking the village and was just like F that and walks <laughs> and runs off finds this cave where this entity's like okay I'm gonna help you destroy them you know get revenge and everything so you're basically just running back through all of this cute world and just like killing these these little like I guess they kind of look like Teletubbies okay so you're basically killing them and you see like blood and guts like flying everywhere you know that sounds a whole lot like uh, Naughty Bear remember that game a little game? bit 
but uh, but without the stealth aspect. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, like that just kind of drew me in. I was like, I it's like twenty bucks. Game's probably bad, you know. Why not? Oh my why god, not? why is this so much fun? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was pretty much what drew me into it. And even um, even like the other day, like before we even had an idea that we were going to talk about something like this. Uh, it's like I'm sitting there looking up YouTube videos like, man, I got to find footage of this. I missed this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bringing you back. It's like, God, this is so bad. It's so fun. I need to find a ROM. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So, and uh, Too Human was another awful game that you had. Yeah, Too Human was just like, like by the controller standards, was really awful to play. Okay. And all the mechanics that were built into it, uh, the thing that made it so awful was that the gameplay played like a... It was a third-person action game, but it played like a twin-stick shooter. So you're walking with one thumbstick and attacking with the other thumbstick pointed in a different direction. And just basically using the mm. triggers to kind of like alter your attacks. So the controls for a third-person action game, they were really broken. Yeah. Was, um, and then... Also, you never felt like your your character powered up. It's like everything like auto leveled with you, so that that really broke down the game and made it more of a chore to get through than anything. What kept me playing it was that the story was done really good. Okay. And any game that came out around that time that was supposed to be like this epic trilogy, you know, that they were gonna that they were gonna put like your game saves tra transferring over from one to the next, like Mass Effect style. I was really, I was really interested in that, and I was kind of sad to see that that one never took off. But then after the gameplay, I was like, okay, I understand why. I mean, <laughs> right. Like this is bad, yeah. and probably should put it down like a bad. Yeah. Track. So that's uh, that's too human and uh, Def, Def Jam. <laughs> Def Jam rap star. Um, you were my. I, I, I like to pick up any game with the mic. So, <laughs> so I. You know, uh, I spent a lot of time vocals on Rock Band, and uh, also I oh, own all like, about that Coheed and Cambry. Boy. <laughs> and I there own uh, I own Lips for uh, Xbox for the sole purpose of being able to import your own soundtracks into yeah. it and do the do the karaoke that way. Rap Star uh, was I'm, pretty much like a throwback to all like childhood like growing up listening to hip hop it's a throwback to car rides of people that thought they knew the song and right. then they would just drown themselves out right. into mumbling and, and then, then go back to the and room. then you were really sad like cause all the songs in it were all radio edits yep so like you're it's like oh was I supposed to curse that yeah <laughs> I, I know I was but you, you feel know. guilty about yourself <laughs> just, oh, I got moral bad choices and vocabulary <laughs> right like but, do I get counted off for this <laughs> yeah <laughs> But I mean, you were a witness to it. Like we sitting there playing, and I forget what song we were doing. I think it was uh, Kanye West Gold Digger. And I'm sitting there 100 percent like all the songs that were coming across. The, the game, they, I, you know, you were my roommate when we we played that game. That game was, it was so bad that the fact that we put the the microphone back to the speaker and we were 100 percenting it right <laughs> off the bat. <laughs> I was like, we don't even need to play this anymore. Just this to unlock songs? Yeah. It's like, only only reason we kept like doing going through all the songs because we just wanted to unlock the Busta Rhymes song at yeah. the end. Yeah. <laughs> nice. But, uh, yeah, that, that, that game's kind of self-explanatory. and yeah, That game should have never been. It shouldn't have. It could have been put in with other karaoke games. But I had fun with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I still have the box. Nice. <laughs> Probably shouldn't say anything yeah, about that. It's okay. Sitting on a shelf somewhere. Behind other boxes. <laughs> yes, behind other boxes. <laughs> That's dust. not all exactly on display. <laughs> all right, Christina. You have uh, Final Fantasy X-2, Chocobo Tales, and Tony Hawk Underground. Yes. What was awful? Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can honestly say that Final Fantasy X-2, I felt like the battle system itself even though it was all cutesy and you're changing, you know, outfits and all that, it was actually an enjoyable battle system if you took the time to level up. So you're saying if you stripped away everything that was 10 to and left it just, just a game with that mechanic, it was yeah, enjoyable. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, Storyline, of course, was really lame until you get to the end because the only reason I played it to begin with was to find out what happens between Yuna and Titus. 
because it, it kind of 10 was a cliffhanger so it's like oh well good we finally get to find out what happens that being said the reason the game was awful was because it was a percentage based game whereas mm -hmm. no other Final Fantasy had done that so if you wanted to beat the game and get the final unlockable ending which was like the perfect ending you had to get a hundred percent which means you had to find like every chest do every side quest uh, make sure you answered every question correctly and little plots and everything and I beat that game with 99%. I wanted to punch something. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm done with this game. I'm moving on. The, like, the re-release is just a few months of 10 and 10 too. Are you gonna go strictly on just memory alone to play that game again? I will. Um, I still have the guidebooks from the original PS2 version. <laughs> <laughs> however, hey, however, um, yeah, I think I'll just do a quick run through on my, on my Vita just to say I did it and you know run through some old memories but I'm not gonna take the time to do that again because I had over 130 hours on that game. You YouTubed it didn't you? No. Liar. No. YouTube. <laughs> we didn't have YouTube back then. No, you it was YouTube. all about the strategy guide. Well no I'm saying you YouTubed it now to find out the perfect oh, ending. Oh of course I did. See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you call me a liar. Duh. <laughs> um, Chocobo Tales. Uh, I've always loved mini games, and honestly, I think most people would enjoy it, but it's just so childish. So if you look past that and you play it for the fun value that it is, it's a great mindless game. I mean, really, you can just pick it up. Like, if you're waiting at the airport, play it for 30 minutes and you're done. So if you enjoy Final Fantasy, I think you'd like it. Okay. Um, and then Tony Hawk Underground, the, the by far favorite Tony Hawk game ever was three, by yeah. most people's standards. And Underground was trying to be this new cool thing and you know, like you went to all these they, like cool places to go skate. They fused a lot of jackass stuff into it. And that, yes. I think that's what tarnished a lot and of that And you game. could start like spray painting and put, you could customize a tag and put your tag on buildings and stuff like that. And that's when it, like I liked it because I like customizing stuff, but at the same time, it lost the original value of just a cool skateboarding realistic game. So most people hated it for that. Uh, but people bought it. I mean, just when that game came out, it was actually the beginning of Xbox 360. No, mm -hmm. it was the original. No, that was, was the original Xbox. That was the original yeah, Xbox. Yeah, original. Yeah. I got that game. I got it a couple of years later because it was super cheap. And I, I enjoyed all of the Tony Hawk games. I, and it was just, you know, kind of fun. And I like building the custom maps. Did you, did you play Ride? I don't remember. Ride was the one with the, the, the actual... skateboard. The actual skateboard. Oh, maybe. You look like an <laughs> Wait, idiot. That should have been your guilty pleasure. <laughs> no. no. Stand in your living room, pretend like you're skateboarding instead of just going outside and stop my, being lazy. And doing oh, fly. no, see, I, I was never good at skateboarding. I just, um, I, I fixed all of the. Did you just lay down on it and just. No, that's, no, what, that's what my cousin did. Else's he, skateboard. He, he I had no skill myself, so I'd just fix everybody's skateboards. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what my cousin did. He sat on the couch with playing ride and just had someone just <laughs> waving the side of it. Look how fast you're going. Yeah. Rocket right here. Come on, here's a rocket. Ah! Oh! <laughs> so, uh, Crystal's Pony, huh? <laughs> You actually reminded me of another one that's a guilty pleasure, oh. but uh, yeah, Christmas Pony. So wait, it's, wait, 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 before before we lose that one, what was up? What was the last one? She reminded me of, she said mindless, and one of my, it, it's a stress relief game. It's awful, the game mechanics suck. It's, you know, Dead Island. It, it's an awful yeah, that game. That is an yeah. awful game. But if I'm having a bad day, <laughs> it feels really good to kill some zombies. <laughs> Bro, it's true. I went through went through like 50% of that game with just a kick. Because <laughs> the kick used, it used no stamina. Like in the initial version of the game, you, you didn't use any stamina. Like running, stamina. Swinging any weapons takes stamina. But to kick something took no stamina. I kept rebuilding my bat with nails at the uh -huh. end. Oh man, I kept customizing that thing. It was deadly. <laughs> it, and it's so weird playing that game because I hate first person games. I'm not good at them. The whole damn thing is first person. I can, I can see you just like kicking the dog as soon as you get home, you get on the game. Oh, no, that is not. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I had a bad day at work. <laughs> it's been bad. Time to step up, Logan. You win the game or warming the bench. You see, and that was the cool part about uh, Dead Rising. Dead Rising. Yeah. That, that game was awfully awfully easy, but you had uh -huh. to be really persistent uh, on playing it. But the just driving mechanic, yeah. just running over zombies, that was that was something nice to go through. Be yeah. like, I'm just going to go Sunday in the park, <laughs> running over zombies and watching the trail of just blood. Just a normal you. day just in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, Oh yeah, Crystal's pony. Crystal's pony. We yeah, obviously don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it was a game I played when I was like four to five. It was the f first was, video game I could beat. See, that's that's where your true love comes in for the game. Because that's it's your personal only memories. It's the endearing thing of ponies. Um, that I, yeah. <laughs> it's the only endearing uh, memory I have about it was that it was the first game I could beat. And I mean, it's a very basic game. Um, Sega Genesis. Mm -hmm. Little side scrolling pony, and you can customize your pony. It looks like <laughs> robot unicorn. Like a robot unicorn attack? Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> and then, um, you, you had to save all the ponies from like this evil sorcerer, and that was the objective of the game. And then you had to fight him at what, the very what end. What kind of asshole is going after ponies? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But you had to find keys a and breeder? horseshoes and stuff. A breeder? <laughs> Real redneck. <laughs> Gonna get them bonus there. It's a glue factory. It's a glue factory. <laughs> There's a violin and glue factory right next to each other. Huh. Uh. <laughs> this got really dark real quick. <laughs> Rainbow Dash, where are you going? Uh, <laughs> it's really dark. All of the cutscenes where they had the that evil character looming over a, a crystal ball, and it was like that lurker. I don't know if there were cutscenes. They were probably just the, the there. animations. We, we watched a clip of it earlier. That dude had like lurker eyes over <laughs> it. He's like, I mm. want them bonus. <laughs> Your your second one was Sing Star. So what, what's like, what what was awful about it? Why I mean, it, it technically wasn't all that bad. For family standards, it's not a bad. No, it's game. not a bad game. As I mean, as a party game, it's it's great. I mean, <laughs> for a lonely game, it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I play this by myself actually... at two in the morning. <laughs> I have a sad life. <laughs> if you actually want to play a game. I don't recommend that one because it's not really a game and I could never get it to save my scores. <laughs> yeah. It, it had some of, some good points to it and I remember um, when I was in college doing the Glee version, I won a hundred dollar gift card. You played the Glee version? It was for a, it was for money. <laughs> <laughs> you just hoard yourself no. out. <laughs> At that point, Inadvertently, I mean, you were like, I'm going to sing my heart out for... <laughs> I'm going to sing my heart out for a $100 gift card to Barnes & Noble. <laughs> All right, so like I said, Evil Zone was pretty bad. It had animated cutscenes, so it was a 3D game, and the fighting it was a fighting game, and it was, the mechanics were just... It, it felt like you were just sludging through everything, and it was really, you're not moving, you're moving. Hit this button... All right, cool. There's a cutscene. Let me go upstairs and get a bowl of cereal and get back and then get back into the game without missing a beat. So that that game was awful to begin with, and I think I still have it, which is I may pull that out just for the hell of it. I think Why it's not? Glad to see this. And then uh, so and then DDR. The the right copious here. yeah, it gets me in the field. Um, Good times. DDR well. The way I got into DDR was because I, I busted my knee, I had ACL surgery. My doctor said, hey, you need to start walking around, and then I went to the game store. It was this mom and pop game store, and they were like, hey, we're playing the new, you know, it's new rave in the back, and there was, you know, there was this poor little portly kid in the back just sweating it up over this game. I was oh. like, oh, he's, yeah, exactly, just, it's so good, <laughs> playing Dream a Dream. Oh, I love that. <laughs> So and then I was like, you know what, this kid, this this dude's walking around. So like, I got on my crutches and I put the my crutches next to the pad itself, and I started moving around. And then, the, you know, my mom was like, hey, that's that's pretty good. You're you're stepping. You're getting around. 
So lo and behold, that whole summer I played, and then I got into college, and I found college kids that were good at it. And I was like, I was misinformed in life, and I was like, I want to be as cool as these guys. They were cool. They were all cool their own right. So I hung out with them, and I got really good at the game. But, you know, socially, like I said, socially, people accept the game for what it is. You know, it's like, oh, it's, you know, it's a goofy game that my kids can dance around to and exert their energy and go to sleep at an early time. But, uh, you know, if you're really, really good at it, if you, you set up a tripod and, you know, uh, amazing feats happen when those guys play. I applaud them for, for doing it, but the whole entire world, they're like, you're, you're good at anything in a video game, you're automatically deemed, you know, lesser in life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and th that game enable you know, any DDR experience, you need to play it in the arcade. There's no justifying a plane at home. It's not the same. Now how bad did it get? How bad did it get? Yeah. I spend. I used to work at Starbucks. I spent my my sixty dollar tips, all in one day, just playing that game. But man, did I lose all that weight. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if you were hardcore enough, you would invest in a metal pad at home. Yeah, which I had with the, a bar. With a bar, I had the three inch pad that my buddy yeah. Sean gave me. Yeah. For my birthday, thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so and then the last one was Metal Gear Acid. Metal Gear Acid had, was one of the first PSP games that came out um, and it was non-canon from the rest of the series mm -hmm. and I was excited to play anything A, PSP because I bought it on day one and two um, It had the name Metal Gear in it. It had Metal Gear in it and I'm like I'm stupid I love Metal Gear look at me. Uh, <laughs> So I, I bought it and it was a card game, so that sucker punched me in to be really addicted to collect them all. And then it had a lot of throwback to, uh, if you're a fanboy of the game, it had a lot of throwback facts mm -hmm. to it. Like each card was like when Snake infiltrated Outer Heaven for the first time. And like I read up all and all that stuff. So I geeked out on it hard and I know it was a bad game and I couldn't find one damn person to play against it. <laughs> it was like nobody bought it, but I knew it was awful. and. Yeah, uh, that's that's what kept me playing because I wanted everything done with Metal Gear. Uh, Metal Gear Acid Two actually came with 3D goggles that actually did all the cutscenes in 3D too. I remember that. Yeah, the Is sexy that why stuff. Why it was called Acid? You were <laughs> tripping on Acid? Yeah. No, you're like the back of the box literally said a new Acid trip. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Well, okay then. That's so, it. <laughs> yeah. So all right. So what kept you, we, we already know why, what kept you playing those games. Did you finish any of them, and did you feel satisfied? Uh, I never finished Rise of Hell, because uh, that was like, you know, hers was Dead Island coming home and taking out some rage. Mine was that <laughs> one. Uh, I think it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> Death Jam. We were right? like, man, I gotta sing these songs out. <laughs> Pop in DMX and not curse once. Right. But uh, I did finish Too Human. Uh, Left disappointed because cliffhanger ending supposed to be a trilogy. Mm -hmm. Never getting it into mm -hmm. that game. Uh, Just like Advent Rising. I know. My other game that never getting a sequel <laughs> to that game. <laughs> which I went out and actually bought that uh, bought that recently. Okay. Uh, found a copy of Advent Rising. Uh, and I still have, because collector's item now, have a sealed copy of Two Human. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, because they stopped doing they that stopped, production. They they took them out of production, and every place pretty much clearanced them off. And now you can't find it on shelves anymore. Yeah, that yeah. is a collector's art. I remember asking you about <laughs> that if you had that too. Um, so you beat that, and now you did you when you beat it? Were you satisfied with the fact that like oh okay? I was satisfied with what they what I got out of it as when, far as the story. Through all the crap that you had to trudge through of that game, you were satisfied at the end. You were like okay, I completed it. It's now in the back of my storage closet. Okay, so Never I was seeing the light again. <laughs> so I was disappointed that I played that I paid sixty dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I was I was satisfied that I actually uh, that I actually beat the game. Uh, actually, you know, it was like I'm gonna get my money's worth out of this, no matter how bad it is. Of course, for the first you know two weeks, I was in denial. It's like this <laughs> game's awesome. <laughs> you guys uh, need to buy it. Just play it. <laughs> With me, yeah. come on. Trying to get every single person that I knew to try to play it online. It's like, dude, you got to buy this game. It's awesome. We need people to play with online. Uh, and then once I beat it and was like, I'm never touching this game again. <laughs> <laughs> Except for like, oh, hey, we, remember that game you told us to buy? Yeah, we bought it. Can, can you help us online? 
So I'll, I'll pick it up every once in a while, but uh, not very often. It, you make it sound like it's a palate cleanser. Like, it's like Look, I need to know what's really bad out there in the world. Sometimes it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, huh, man, play this before play Last of Us. Find out if it's really good. Oh, my God. <laughs> I need to play Last of Us. Uh, and then Def Jam. <laughs> Yeah, I, I went all the way through that track list to unlock the Busta Rhymes song. So a lot of a lot of struggles through that game. A lot of holding I, the microphone to the speaker to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this song. I remember I remember you playing it like you didn't know the song, so you just turned it up really really loud and you put your laptop up yep. and lurked Facebook as like the game was playing. I was like, oh, it's done. Okay. <laughs> Woo ha! Get you all in check. Yep, that was pretty much it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was. Probably it as far as as far as those games. I haven't picked too many of them up. Yeah, back up. You know, thank God the these hard guilty pleasures are far and few. I know a lot of you guys had to do some homework to try finding a really bad game that you, right. you played and hated and loved at the same token. <laughs> uh, Christina, so you? I got ninety nine percent on ten two, so I did beat it. I just didn't fully complete it. You never really completed it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Ugh, bitter memories. Yeah, uh, 126 hours in, 99% rage quit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> just uh, flipping tables. Just, <laughs> uh, um, You're never going to be any other again. <laughs> You're back. I am back. I'm home. Welcome home. With uh, Chocobo Tales, same thing. It was kind of like Pokemon where you have to collect them all because it had a card game in there. And I never collected all the cards, but I beat the actual story part of the game. So did I fully complete it? No. Did I beat it? Yes. Whatever. I felt happy with it. I can still pick it up with my save game and play for all the mini games and play just for like 20 minutes and I'm happy. That's how I feel with WarioWare. Like, I love WarioWare. WarioWare is so stress inducing and then you like F this game and then... And you pick it like, up like two days later and you're like, I, I love you again. <laughs> and then you, you just get mad it's like all the like a Sour Patch again. Kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, sour uh, first and then sweet. And then sweet. <laughs> um, okay. And then Underground, uh, I think basically the way you had to beat those games was you had to play through like every single like skate level, get a certain number of points or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd d go through every city. So um, I can't remember if it was on that one or one of the sequels, but there was extra levels that you could un unlock, like secret levels that were like Easter eggs. And one was like this uh, UFO site. And I just remember it being like really Sweetie. funky, but really cool. So I played through the entire game just to get through that. Okay. So I did beat it, but it was like every fifty one or something. Like yeah, that. Or like yeah, and or you could like actually skate on like the UFO ships and everything. I and that. Yeah, it, it was fun. So I don't know if that was from original Underground or not. But was the hidden character in that game? Was it? Uh, was it Darth oh, they Maul had some. That one? I remember it was Darth yeah, Maul, they had Spider Darth Man, Maul, Wolverine, Spider -Man, Iron Man, Wolverine. I think that's where it stopped. They had, no, they had some other funny ones too, like actual like celebrities or comedians or something. Oh yeah. I'm, oh, no, I, I gotta do my homework on that. Yeah, see now I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I should play that again. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Oh no, they sucked me back in. <laughs> Did you beat your pony game? Oh, oh yeah, time. that's well, why I played it. Yeah, that's <laughs> the only game you beat. What about the other one? Uh, well, Singstar is not really a Yeah, you game really can't beat that. It's kind of like DDR, yeah. right? You it's work like your way up to unlock more songs? It's like an ar No, actually, you have all of the songs on there. Oh. It's just arcade karaoke, really. But you get to sing along to the track, so you have some guidance. <laughs> but, um... Uh, you don't know guidance when you watch Marcus play Rock Band, Coheed, and Camry, where he oh hits those real high Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> um... <laughs> But, but I, I will never play, you know, like Singstar Queen, even though Queen yeah. is awesome. I don't I think I could bring myself to I play. I want to try it. Or ABBA. But no, no ABBA. No, probably but not But you play ABBA. Glee, right? Hmm? <laughs> Glee version? 
No. <laughs> that was a hesitant no, no. No, I did not. I had to make sure see, I didn't. See, that contest was either I, I, I try my hand at rapping, which I am awful at, <laughs> or I do a glee song. <laughs> was the other side of the stores of the rap Def battle? <laughs> yes, they had Def Jam or Glee, and I wasn't going to win no. either. Def Jam, right here. <laughs> I can't rap. <laughs> What's the flow, yo? <laughs> Slump dog. Uh, but uh, you don't know me. You put on your you white hood. Mm, that's Go pointy. <laughs> oh, uh. that's racist. Yeah, so that was the point. <laughs> that was the last one. Um, oh, Dead Island. Yeah. I I haven't beat it, but you know what? It's not it, it there to beat. Don't, don't even bother. It's not there to beat. It's there to just feel Pick better. Pick it up when you want to. <laughs> At least, yes. you, at least you only bought that one and didn't encourage them with oh, the sequel. Oh, see, and I paid like $10 for it because mm -hmm. I got it on Black Friday. Okay. So it was super low commitment and it was <laughs> really nice. I, I bought that for a dollar at the Humble Bundle. What? Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. I did it for charity, so. I may have gotten the Game of the Year edition for 10 bucks, so I don't care. So, um, <laughs> did I beat Evil Zone? I don't think so. I think it came to a point where the boss was like spamming the the what you call the animated attack, mm -hmm. and I was like, you know what? Screw this. Dang. I'm gonna read War and Peace or something. This is <laughs> this is boring. Oh, you found <laughs> out about words on paper. <laughs> yeah, words and secession make beautiful stories. <laughs> no, but uh, no, I don't think I beat Evil Zone. There was like eight characters to beat, and I only like got up to like just the final boss, and they were just it was. The escalation of like difficulty ramped up. Mm -hmm. Like you, this is this is inhuman. Nobody nobody plays this for enjoyment. Um, Metal Gear Acid, yeah, I played I played <laughs> out of that. <laughs> they, those were done, and then DDR. I've you know I spent thousands of dollars into that. My parents are probably going to kill me now. Mm -hmm. Find what happened <laughs> to me in college. When you beat that game, it's like getting to the fascination songs. Yeah, and then or like the max three hundred. You don't, you don't really beat the game. It. Yeah, you don't it's really just increasing your score every time to look better than the guy beside you. You don't really beat the game. You end up finding a harder song that someone else is playing. You'd be like, I can do that. And I can do that. Then you look like an Famous idiot tripping words. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, watch this. And then <laughs> fail. Yeah. Oh. If you were a true pro, you would have beaten it. I don't want to hear it from you. <laughs> you haven't played DDR. You don't. You haven't lived in my shoes. You never been to the FP. You don't know my life. <laughs> you don't know my life. <laughs> Did it for the ducks. Did it for the ducks. <laughs> God damn, drunks going straight edge right on the street, resorting to meth and shit. And now. With no drunks, there ain't no bombs. And with no bombs, there ain't no motherfuckers to feed the ducks at the park. What's a fucking town with no ducks, j -Tro? It's nothing. It ain't nothing. I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, at Oltness, uh, on Twitter. Uh, follow our Facebook page. And, uh, you know, look, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining us. Yay! DDR time. Let's go right yeah, now. Just <laughs> I told you I had to. It's all about them points. gallops. <laughs> what song was that? Sexy Planet. Sexy Planet. Doing the jumps and the thrust. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. You, you guys don't know about that life. You don't right. know about that life. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you play ITG. <laughs> Man, I. <laughs> That ITG machine over at the gallery is a bee's knees. I would be down to try that out. So you, you guys should play. No, uh, yeah, I'll, st yeah. I'll stick to Technica then. We'll do it with my hands. We'll play Technica, we'll play DDR, no big deal. It's like, we'll turn that place into a rave, just ITG <laughs> going in one <laughs> it's just It's just two different groups, just, yep. oh, okay. Let's switch. Uh, switch. I like this music. <laughs> or you're playing Technica while you're playing DDR. Yeah. But like you're. <laughs> there, was, a little bit too uh, much. there was there was a, a Konami game that was like that. It was like Wave Masters or something like that. And it had two sensors on the top and two sensors on the bottom. Uh, and you literally wait. had to rave para -para? to it. Parapara? No, it wasn't Parapara. Para. Oh, okay, because I like Parapara. Para. Yeah. I have a dance memorized on Parapara. Para. <laughs> that should have been your guilty, guilty pleasure. pleasure. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs>